internet friends, Magic Brad here with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I got my friend Dr. Derek for Wellness Wednesdays. Hi there, Derek. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? It's going good, but now that we're running into uh, winter months coming up, it's starting to get chilly. you got to wear a jacket when I take the dog out for a walk in the mornings. Yes, it is. <laughs> So that was a wonderful segue of myself here moving into that because that's kind of the topic that I was kind of curious asking about. Does chiropractic treatment change with the weather differences? Yeah. Um, I, you know, the, the, the actual treatment of chiropractic doesn't change. What we do is we, we tend to see a, a difference in how many new patients are coming in with acute injuries versus like chronic injuries. Uh, and in the winter times, I mean, we do see our handful of, you know, people who slip and fall on the ice and land on their back and start to have some pain after that. And then we also see people who are, um, you know, shoveling snow or different things along those lines. Where we really see the big thing is, especially up here in Minnesota, uh, when it gets colder, we tend to kind of hibernate, you know, and we, we start to be less active than we were, like in the summers and the fall months. Sure. Not people are as many, not as many people are out there hiking or walking around or are doing the lake activities and uh, you know one of my favorite things to do is golf and so I can't golf in the winter time and so where we see that is when when people are less active you know over the winter months their muscles start to fatigue they start to atrophy and get tighter and then where we really see the difference is all of a sudden come like late February March into April. People start to get back out and they start to run outdoors. They start to golf again, do all these different activities. And because their muscles are weaker and they've atrophied, they start to come in with more injuries along that front. And oh. so one thing that we talk to a lot of our patients about is just continuing some sort of workout routine, you know, having to primarily move it indoors to some degree, um, you know, depending on the weather, but make sure that they're staying active as best as they possibly can. Well, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, it's kind of like uh, you got to warm up before you get going again. So after the cold winter, you got to kind of yep. rewarm up before you go out and do a 10K. <laughs> well, yeah, and, and it's just it's try, trying to be honest with yourself, too. Like, you, you know, if you didn't do a whole lot through December and, and January and February, if you go to back to start to run and, and start to do some more training activities, like make sure that you're, you're easing yourself back into it. Don't just go jump back into – like you said, running a 10K or a half marathon, like make sure you build up those miles again. You know, the activity, like movement is so, so important for not just the muscles in our body, but primarily our joints too. They thrive off of movement. They need to be moved repetitively. Otherwise, if they don't, that's when they build inflammation and that's when like degeneration arthritis starts to set in. So when you do your business, is that something that you sort of implement into your practice instead of just treating someone and then sending them out the door? Do you spend time like uh, like client appreciation events where they can ask general questions like that or, or seminars and workshops where they might learn these things? Because yeah. it's common sense, but some people just don't think about it. And if uh, yeah, we, most people probably we wouldn't. To, we do a lot of stuff with local businesses. We do a lot with the schools and the teachers in our community, but we also go into different local businesses and, you know, I, I provide what, what I, it's a complimentary health and wellness initiative where basically they can choose what their employees are looking for. If they're looking for, you know, different lectures and stuff, I have a set of 10 to 12 lectures that I, that I can talk about, but I usually ask for their feedback too. Like, what are your employees looking for? Are they looking for more information on chiropractic? Are they looking at ways to decrease their stress levels or are they just looking for, for information on how to eat healthy, you know, like, I mean, different things like that. I have different uh, um, PowerPoints and presentations that we try to get out in the community and educate because that's what I'm most passionate about. It's not just helping to get people healthier within my office, but trying to create more awareness with health and wellness within the community so that people can make better choices um, in their daily life. Not yeah, just here at the office. Yeah, there's a lot of things like that, I suppose, that are basically common sense. But if you're not focused on it, you probably don't even think about it. So yeah. doing a seminar like that, you might kind of trigger something in their brain. They go, oh, my God, I probably should have been working all working out all right. winter. <laughs> exactly. I mean, and that, that is the biggest thing is most people, what, what I find is most people know how to be healthy. They have a general understanding of, of health and wellness and what they should be doing. The, the problem is just getting yourself to do it. Because 
and in general society as, as us as human beings our brains are wired to be lazy and to find the most efficient and easiest way to get from point a to point b or to do something and so it's going to find the laziest option or the easiest way the one that's going to require the least amount of energy um to be put out and so being healthy is hard you know and, and getting up and, and and making a good healthy breakfast and getting up and exercising those are difficult things to do. It's a lot easy to hit the snooze button and, and sleep in for another hour and a half. And grab a, some egg sandwich at the drive through Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep, it's, it's it. convenient, and, and that's what our brain's going to naturally go to. So you have to make a conscious effort to be healthy and, and plan that stuff out. Okay, so let's let people know how to get a hold of you. It's uh, Health Source Chiropractic of Minnetonka, correct? Yes, absolutely. We're located uh, in the... Glen Lake area of Minnetonka, right off of Excelsior Boulevard. Um, the biggest, you know, landmark. We're right, right in the same complex as the Gold Nugget Restaurant. Or if you know where the uh, General Store is off of Highway Seven, we're just south of there on Excelsior Boulevard. Sure. All right. Well, I appreciate you again taking the time to be on Synergy Cafe, and I will propagate this up to the internet and put it out for people to find. So awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Derek. Yep. Have a great day.